Hey everybody, this is 224 Away Aaron, and this video isn't necessarily about the fire alarm system. Well, it is, but it's more about alarm verification and why it is important. Now, I'm not talking about, um, it'll wait a couple seconds before it'll go off. I'm not really talking about that. I'm talking about, this is more about the smoke detectors. Now, as we all know, spraying anything into them, such as this, I mean, I know I'm not supposed to, but I'm going to for this video before. I'm going to get some air smoke in a can or whatever it's called soon. But for now, I have this. Alright, so here's the smoke detector, okay? So, like, let's say somebody's spraying, like, in a locker room, somebody's spraying a bunch of deodorant under it. Watch this. Alright, I don't know if that blinked right or not, but let's see. Yeah, it blinked right. Now it's going to technically activate the panel, but watch this. Well, it doesn't look like it's going to want to blink, but what the panel will do is now that it knows that there's a, something coming from the smoke detector circuits, it will um, turn off the power. So I think if I do this again, it's going to go back into alarm. Yep, right again. Now watch. Now it goes into alarm because what happens is it wants to make sure there's a um, fire. At, so there we go. And not just somebody, you know, spraying something into it or something like that. There we go. Now, so that is pretty much just the demonstration of alarm verification and how it works. You can have it on a pole station. More, but it's not really meant for it. Alright, everybody, this is 224 away Aaron again. And I set this pulse station up right here for alarm verification. So let's see how, what, how the panel behaves. I guess it's trying to cut the power now. Now let's try. See? See how it, it it won't work for pole stations. It'll only work for smoke detectors. Let's try that again. See, it does not activate. So we're gonna reset it. All right, come on. We gotta wait for it to time out because it's waiting. But let's see. All right, it, I guess it doesn't want to do it now, but you get the idea. It act. It sensed that there is a fire, and this will cut the power to it. Should work now. Yep. See. So that's why some um, alarm verification is not useful on pulse stations only on smoke detectors and that's why it does not let you do it if C verification won't let you do it if it's on a pulse station alright that'll be it